wanna be new I've been down for so long, didn't know what to do I lost a lot of love once led me to you I long to be free from the chains on me So Lord, in my cry, in my plea I want a fresh start 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 So create me a clean heart And renew the right spirit in me I want a fresh start I want a fresh start Your brother Frank. <laughs> oh, boy, move out the way. Where your mama at? Uh, man, what y'all got to eat up in here? Man, I'm sure there's something to eat in there. Hit you all upside the head. Hit me upside the head? Who told you something like that? Man, I got my ears to the streets, youngster. Ah, uh, sound like mama told you, huh? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Well, at least she talking to somebody. She ain't talked to me since I've been home. That was two weeks ago. Man, what y'all got to eat up in here? Hey, what y'all had to eat up in here? Stop! I guess they let you out early. Discipline fellas, they got locked up in there. I got class. <laughs> class? Hey. Boy, please. You been locked up five times the last ten years? I'm talking about some class. Huh? What they got to do with me not having class? Everything. Trust me. Look, I need a place to stay. I'm gonna slam the door in my face. Look, this was a respectful child of mine after all I done did for her. Oh, you ain't done for her. You ain't done nothing for her, but run away from your responsibilities. Gotta let that go. Let go of what, Frank? The fact that you left me home with Dad to get beat up on and mistreated? How are you gonna be my big brother and not protect me? Nah, uh-uh. You ran like you always do. I ain't gonna never forget that. Look, you can stay mad at me all you want about the past. Mm -hmm, I'm mad. I need a place to stay in the prison. Mm -hmm. Now we family. We supposed to look out for each other. Go stay with mom and dad. Dad all holy now. You be alright. Ain't right? got time for nobody's preaching. <laughs> I hear that. Look, I ain't gonna nowhere near that man. <laughs> don't be don't eating up on my food. You sleep over there on the couch. This ain't nothing permanent. You got to figure something out. I'm sure child is gonna be running up here soon like it's no good day to do it. I ain't trying to have you interrupting my peace of quiet. Come on now, Dawn. You got quit lip hovering stuff over people's head like that. <laughs> life is too short. I know. You ain't trying to give me no life advice. I'ma need you to keep your opinions to yourself, Frank. Good night. I am a recovering alcoholic. My clients are unaware of the constant battle I'm in to stay sober. 
For a long time, I counsel people under the influence. I'm what some like to call a functioning alcoholic. My ex-husband stood on the sidelines for years while I worked 10 hour days drinking throughout the workday and after work, drinking at bars and nightclubs. There were nights he would have to come and find me or drag me out of the bar. I fall asleep outside, in my car, and even a few times at the bar. Though I would be functioning at work, I felt apart afterwards. I was unfaithful to my husband many times. Eventually, he got fed up and divorced me. And I miss him. And I wish I could change the past. But fortunately, I cannot. I just want to help others change their lives before it's too late. Are you the yellow type? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm sorry, I'm just gonna go back over there and see back Hey, 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 hey. You're fine. Sit down. Uh, my name's Travis. What's your name? Nice to meet you, Sarah. My name's Travis. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, my name's Sarah. Nice to meet you, Travis. Nice to meet you, Sarah. You look really nice today. Thanks, Sarah. <laughs> Travis. I can tell you're really nervous, but there's no need to be nervous around me. I promise. Would you like to go out for some coffee sometime? Sure, I'd like that. Um, Travis, you're really hot and I... I'm sorry, I'm not really good with this kind of stuff. Hey. I think you're doing just fine. Thank you for the compliment. Now Rhonda, you said that your father and ex-husband has been released from prison and they're both trying to contact you? Dr. Rose, my dad showed up at my door needing a place to stay. I didn't let him in? Oh, why not Rhonda? Let me see, where do I start? Frank has always been selfish. It's always been about him. I remember when I was 10 years old, when my grandparents came to me and told me that my dad was coming to pick me up to take me to the movies. I was so excited. I got all dressed up and waited on the front porch for him. I remember like it was yesterday. It was summertime. I had on this pretty pink ballerina skirt. <laughs> I remember all my friends coming by, asking me, did I want to play with them? I said, nope. My daddy is coming to pick me up today to take me to the movies. Hours went by, and he was a no-show. I cried myself to sleep. <clears throat> the next day, he showed up with a hangover. Never even apologized. Instead, he talked me into peeing into a cup for him so that he could pass a drug test. Never even took me to the movies. I'm sorry to hear that he did that to you. But you know what? At that time, I didn't really realize how wrong he was for treating me that way. I mean, 
that wasn't the last time that he did that to me. For as long as I can remember, I've always been a tool for his cons. He left me in a hot car while he was getting high. Lied to me, stole from me. I mean, the list goes on. He just, he really ain't no good. There is good in even the worst people. Do you believe he would be able to come for a group session? Yeah, if I paid him. Now look, Rhonda, I know that this is something that you don't want to do. But I need you to try and do this one time. I believe talking to him and explaining to him your feelings will help you process and move forward and doing it in a healthy manner and environment. I don't know. I don't know. All you can do is just try. That's all I'm asking. I'll try. D Rose. What is the cool for calling you D Rose? Oh yeah. I'm here to the NBA scene. You know, he's a comeback kid, kinda like myself. You know, he's a perfect example of how we can overcome our past. Guy always gives us an option for a fresh start as long as we're breathing. Hmm. You think so? Oh, I know so. You think God could ever help my mom? How? By giving her a fresh start. To help overcome how my dad hurt her. I know he can. And I know she will. Do you think she'd be willing to join us for a session? Yeah. If I tricked her. <laughs> I've seen this 16-year-old kid take his last breath. And I was only eight years old. The blood was leaking from his head. His whole body was shivering. And his sister was holding him, screaming hysterically. I can't imagine how that may have affected you. Seeing that kid shot, it made me numb. I felt like it was my destiny too. So I stopped caring. Spirit in me, yeah. I 
I want a fresh start I want a fresh start